yeah I'm like, oh God, oh, oh my God Bitch, I run the game, y'all just commentate What's going on guys, it's your boy Doja Boy and I'm back here with you with a 1v1 video. I want to teach you guys, every guys, just a few tips and pointers how to do ones. You know what I'm saying, I've been doing ones for a lot of time, a long time now. People, you know what I'm saying, want to know what best can help them and what can, how they can better themselves in ones. With me, the well, first thing I like to say is you have to always work on your aim. Don't get discouraged by ones just because, you know what I mean, people beat you. You want to take some L's. Like, I took a lot of L's before I got this good. It's just that a lot of people don't know because I took L's from good friends that taught me, that also helped me advance my gameplay. So, find you a friend and run ones, get better, then it helps you out. But, for the most part, I like to say when I run ones, I run like, you know what I'm saying, a decent bit. Everybody knows about the 7 6 striker and stuff like that. So, but yeah, like as you see in these clips right here, I'm running seven six striker. You know what I'm saying? And what helps me out a lot is that I know how to shoot and I know how to strafe and move and stuff like that. But like whenever you start a one v one off, I say you should have all your raw damage on one weapon and your damage you use skills with on a second one. So like for instance in these videos you see I have responsive fishes and competent in the third slot. And what that helps out is, is that I get all my crit in one on the first weapon and if they get too close I hit them with unforgiving deadly and responsive. And you know what I'm saying those makes my crits go high when I use my precision precision is key. When I start aiming I hit for the headshot and then I go straight for the body. That's just how I shoot. But you're not gonna win all of I want everybody to know you're not going to win all your ones. You know what I'm saying? You can be beat. But to become successful at them and possibly feel unstoppable and fight people, just go out and just aim at some NPCs and just work on your aim, work on your beam and make sure you don't miss a shot on them. Or, you know what I'm saying? Shoot from a distance with a friend or something. Get used to shooting from a distance and beaming somebody. And y'all just work on beaming each other and that's how you get better. But, oh, let's see. How can I go into more detail? As you can see in the video, like, the video shows you, it just shows you the 1v1s. It shows you when I switch my gun and how I'm aiming and how I'm shooting. But it doesn't show you, like, I don't have a hand cam, but I can't show you. Like, let's look at this one. Okay. I'm beaming, I hit the head, I activate precision, I start going straight body shots. I run out of bullets, I switch my weapon, and I start beaming again. You gotta try not to miss your shots, that's the biggest key. People say, oh, he don't get 50 stacks, or they can say whatever they want to say. If I don't need 50 stacks to beat you, you should be really worried if I only use 37. So, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. If I can beat you with 37, 47 stacks, that makes it a lot better for me. It means I'm missing a lot of shots, but just think about it if I didn't miss. And don't let nobody confuse you. Nobody's a, a beam god. If somebody gets on this game every day, they have to warm up. They have to get better. If they don't, then they're using a modification. They're using, you know what I'm saying, aimbot, or they're using the fucking anti-recoil on the strike pack or the chrono. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody fool you and tell you, oh, you, you can just, I just get on the game and I just be beaming. If they say that, they got a modification. If somebody gets on this game, they have to aim for a little bit and fight for a little bit before they can get their aim right. Oh, I'm locking on everybody. But, oh my God. Yeah, so like, you know what I'm saying? These are a few tips, like, do not roll. Whenever they're shooting at you like this, do not roll. Anytime you want to roll, 
if you like the role of me, I roll. If somebody likes to get up close on me, that, that means that they're trying to find the right moment to stop and start beaming me. So what I like to do is, I like to roll. Like I like to, I be beaming them, beaming them, we be fighting. I pop the, pop the med kit, pop the med kit, pull the boss and stuff like that. The moment that they stop shooting, that's your opportunity to roll. And what I like to do, I like to roll behind them. Don't ever roll like in front of him. Like you see, he just rolled just then. I tracked him everywhere he went when he just rolled just now. You never want to roll with somebody whenever you're in front. Like he just jumped in the front. Like you're still going to get beamed. If I stop shooting and I'm up close on you, you want to get behind me. You want to make me flip my camera. Like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. This is a guy that they snuck me. That's the only reason I was shooting it. That kid right there. That's, you know what I'm saying? You sneak me. I'm going to sneak you back. So. But no, like I was saying, like, you just have to really... What? You have to really practice on your aim because your aim is key. Like the way this game is made now in the 1.8.2, if you can aim, you can be. You. I don't care who you is, if you can aim, you can be. You. I just got a new controller, so as you can see, my beam is pretty good. People don't even know I've been beating people with a horrible controller. My controller was defaulty because every time I would aim, it was straight to the left side. Like it just fly to the left and I can't even hit you. I've been using an ass control on all of y'all. This is me with a good control. <laughs> but, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, some other tips. Uh, never roll. Keep your box down as long as possible. Try to pop make hits in your box. A lot of people can't do this, but I'm an advanced player. Whenever I shoot, I know how to switch my shoulders left and right and keep my aim, and it keeps them from keeping bullets on me. A lot of people like to shoot headshots, and a lot of people can. But once I start switching my head left to right, people can't really do nothing with that. It's hard to keep hitting headshots and keep aiming at somebody when you want to try to hit headshots. So that's why I tell people all the time, shoot the head one time to activate precision, and then just go for body and neck shots. Go for body and neck shots. You don't have to be... Everybody's not gonna be a beamer. Everybody's not gonna be. Oh, I, I got AR. I got a godly aim. Everybody's not like that. But me, as you can see, I got poor connection in here. I'm still one v one. I never do one v one with poor connection server. But all these people cool, and I was doing pretty decent dealing with the lag. You can see the lag in some of the, video, some of the clips. But. Yeah, like whenever you want to be one of them, just have fun. Don't ever want to be one somebody that's going to be toxic or that's going to talk a lot of shit. Because you want to get better at the end of the day. That's the only reason you do one is to get better. So if you got you a good friend, like, you know what I'm saying? I got my people like my boy Supreme. Me and Supreme they want to be one all the time. Like if you or like just anybody, like, I have my baby 1v1 all the like, I try to let her... You know, so I want every, this is what one of you ones do. They help you get better. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just like that's just the culture of this game. Like people say, oh one of you ones is dead. One of you ones is dead. Look at the lag. Oh my god, look at the lag. Oh my god, I took an L on this one. The lag was horrible. But nah, no, like like I was saying, it's just crazy because people say like, oh the ones is dead, and all of this and that, and if you 1v1 doesn't make you a good player, nobody never said it makes you the best player, ones help you become a great player, ones help you, you know what I'm saying, beat people out there whenever you're fighting and group fighting, and that one guy slides out by that car to fight you alone, and you're beaming him. Ones help you be more than one person at a time when they're running around in circles in a box, popping makers and heels on the guy. It helps you beam a person. Because it's just you and him fighting, and the only person you gotta keep your ready for is him. So please, people, listen. Whenever somebody says they want to 1v1 you, don't take it like they're trying to. Oh, I'm this and that, I'm ready. If someone. If someone, like. Wins consistently yeah, I on like, you. The, I like to run they just win consistently on you, and they, and you know, what I'm saying so they beautiful. keep like beating you over so and over again. It could be like, like build. It could be that doesn't mean they're better than you. It could be your build. It could be anything. You could have a bad day. I have bad days. I have bad days myself. 
So don't just think I'm just not a dope, but I'm gonna let y'all listen to some things that I was testing up doing and I was talking about in the gameplay. So check it out. Whenever you use a skill, you get it for 15 seconds. I want you guys to see my beams and my crits. See those crits? Those are pretty decent crits. Mine to miss, you know, just got a new controller. Oh, look at those crits. So I blow my box up. As he comes closer, I switch to my my AR with responsive, deadly, and unforgiving. The more he takes my health down, look at that. Oh my god, beamers, beamers. But yeah, as you can see, unforgiving, deadly, and responsive. Whenever they get close to you, you want to swap to this gun. Because this gun is going to have raw damage coming out the gate. Mine's is 104. I'm looking for high crits. When I activate precision, I get 35.50% crit chance and 108 crit damage. So, you know what I'm saying? This is why I'm so successful in ones whenever I'm fighting somebody is because if they try to get close, they're going to get beamed with a 66 rack. If they stay at a distance, they're going to get beamed with another 66 rack. Yes, I do gun swap. Call me what you want. Here's the 1v1. Make it? No, no, make it. GG's, good shit. But yeah, that's my boy. But yeah, so, as you can see in the gameplay, you feel me? Like, there was just some little tips and pointers, and I know people have been asking for this video, so I wanted to talk through this whole video and just explain to people and let people see. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get discouraged if you lose at once. You're not always going to be nice at once. You're not always going to have your aim on point. But do take okay, ones to learn you. from them. Take ones to learn from them, not to get discouraged. Or, you know what, fuck this game, this game is this and that. Mind you, 1.7 is the most beautiful this past year. I love 1.7. If you'd have made me at 1.7 and you'd have fought me then, you know what I'm saying, you'd have beat me, I'd have, it'd have been big GG's for you. I don't like this patch, but this is what we got, so we have to deal with it. You feel me? We have to adapt to it. We've adapted to every patch that they've ever gave us. Even though we, everybody loves 1.7, I miss 1.7. I still got my Hexo in the bag. I still got my Tactician and Benji in the bag, my guy. I still got all of that, you feel me? All of that is still set up. I just don't run it. Oh, yeah, this nigga tried to sneak me. Timothy, my guy, but... I don't like when people try to sneak me. That shit is not cool. Niggas yeah. always trying to sneak me. But I was saying, yeah, like this is just a little video to help you help you all out with ones and you know what I'm saying, give you all some few pointers. You always want to line up. You always want to line up the way that you know what I'm saying. You like to run. If you like one gun, you got good talents. Use that gun to beam and then switch your gun and get raw damage. I always say skill damage. And, and the best damage that you can get, the, I always say this, first gun, the most damage you can get. Second gun, all the raw damage that you get, you want to think about that second gun, is whenever you switch to that, it has to do damage, no matter if you have stacks or not. And that's what you have to really think about. So, just enjoy the video, I'm going to do some little talking in this video, you're going to hear me talking. You're going to see some gameplay. All this is a 1v1 tips video. This is for my subscribers. This is for anybody that's a fan that's not subscribed, but they hating a little bit. It's cool. I know y'all like that because I run into y'all every day. and Y'all don't want to play with me, shit like that. But I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. I don't mind helping y'all out in any way. If y'all want to see any more kind of videos, more in-depth videos on my build, or you know what I'm saying, how I do it, I can take it. This was just something, I made this on the fly because I know people are asking for it and I do want to help y'all. So I want y'all to see what it's like when I didn't plan it and I'm actually beaming people during a 1v1 and you know what I'm saying, I'm actually, you know what I'm saying, giving it to them. This is why I made this video. But I can stop and I can break down everything in another video if that's what y'all need. So, you know what I'm saying, this right here, this helps you get better. Ones is not for exposure. 
Like I tell y'all all the time, I don't expose people. I fight people all the time. I probably don't fought so many people that y'all know. You can ask people, they probably don't fought me. They probably won or they probably lost. Nobody ever talks about that. Because the thing is, the only reason people get exposed videos is because people don't know how to hold their L's or people are so salty. I've lost before. I held my L's. You just don't get salty and boot people offline or talk shit about people or... You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do that. This it ruins the community. It ruins this game. It makes people not even want to come back to this game. Not even want to play this game because everybody's trying to get good. Everybody's trying to get better. So yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Doja Boy Gaming. Please hit that like button for me. I want to get as many likes as possible on this video because this is going to help somebody out. If it don't help everybody out, it's going to help somebody out. So you see how he rolls just then? You always want to roll behind somebody. So you want to jump and get behind me so I have to turn around and do all kind of shit like that. But, yeah, like, like I was saying, just just give as many likes as possible because I want people to see this and I want people to get better. I want, I want to get some more competition. Like that. Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Doja Boy. And I'm out. Knock you off the